Hello Internet and welcome back to Let's Play The Beginner's Guide. I am Commando, as I have always been and always will be, except when I happen to not be Commando, which is myself. Uh, so, right now we are going to continue where we left off in last episode very quickly. Uh, and we're going to explore this room and what happens in and outside of it. And while we're exploring, and probably just kind of going through that door, but whatever, uh, I encourage you to, you know, be all philosophical and think about what all this means and all that. Such as, why are we in a relatively pleasant looking, though sparse, living room space that has a window that is barred leading out to a well and a very nice view and a banner over there of some sort how oh, quaint living is uh, oh that's a deep crouch how quaint living is a prison or something okay but we're not going outside we're going sorry I just had some pop up up there we're going to go into the basement and we're going to see that picture again and we're going to go this way we're not going to the well we're going to go down the hallway that looks remarkably like the one we just went down and then we're going to be in a cave with a ladder see, like, this is it the whole game and there's nothing oh. that's particularly interesting about it you no, just not. walk to the end of a hallway Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's going to start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. That okay, seems to cool. be. Here's version two. Okay. Oh. That is somewhat different. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Okay, I, I get options. Interesting. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? One, how about a TV with surround sound? Yeah, that's a good option. Two, how about a refrigerator? Uh, I kind of like that one too. Three, put a giant hole in the ground. We're going to put a giant hole in the ground. Assuming that it actually puts the thing that I asked for. Put a giant hole in the ground. Nope, it's a table. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? Well, let's put along the wall. Let's put a, a huge picture of a horse. I'd really like a washing machine. Ten stoves lined up along the wall. Oh, definitely the ten stoves. Ten stoves lined up along the wall. Yep, couches. Cool. I think we should light up this room a bit. A skylight. Full ceiling window. Let's open this baby up. I am think... That that would be wide. Or wi wide? Wild? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking... 10 by 12 recessed electrical 9 inch soft LED lighting with fluorescent trim. Uh, we'll put live Tesla coils in each corner. Yeah, definitely live Tesla coils, which is basically a floor lamp. Yeah! Bask in the glory of that Tesla coil. Bask. Praise the Tesla coil. A table, you need a table. Uh, who, uh, option one. Who are you? Where, wh where exactly are you doing this from? I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Tables were invented in 1935. All of which are untrue. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Um, for this one, we'll go, we'll go with three again. Tables were invented in 1993. Mysterious disembodied orange voice. Door. Oh, we actually got a table. Oh. 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 Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind I of like just this. weird for weirdness' sake. I, but I like it. I like the weird for weirdness' sake. I like how it just keeps going. I like how it's a. So, okay, uh, no, no, no! Starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from uh, a different direction. Really? I wanted to. I w <sighs> okay. Hello, please walk forward. Nope. Okay, fine. I can't walk backward very far. Hello, please walk forward. Ha! No. Ha ha! No. Okay, fine. We'll walk forward. This this guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Okay. Music's kind of catchy. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care. You remember each step. 
Left, right, left, right. First, click on this table. That's the dots! I don't know what they mean. They probably to symbolize some sort of connection between them. There's a lot of intention with having those dots there. Okay, first click on this table. Good, go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. Which way are we going to turn it? We're going to tur tilt it just a little bit to the right. Yeah! I called it! There's a 50-50... No, actually... There's like a 20-20 chance of it going to one side or the other, and then a 60% chance to divide it up into a whole bunch of other options, like not actually turning, or flying off the wall, or turning to rotate forward back, or growing, or doing something else. Okay, now turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Okay. That would be this one, with the, with the well-emphasized power buttons. Is that off? It looks, it, it looks brighter. Okay, there, on. Now go to the left side sofa, move it over a little. Okay. Nudge. Yeah. Finally, touch the shelves. E! Yep. That's it. In the real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Cool, let's go back to my prison. I want to be in my prison. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. All the enthusiasm. Okay, here we are in the prison. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Of course. Cool, and we're Here's going There's a camp. version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Oh, that is Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, okay. you really unloaded on this prison idea. There's okay. nearly a dozen. Personally, okay. I think well. it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, the, eh, maybe there are puzzle. game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is huh. the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Huh. Okay, so it's dark, we've got crickets, we've got darkened house silhouettes, some of which are kind of reflective, probably windows, and we have hedges, and it's dark, and we have the lamp post. And we have the invisible walls. And we have the discount TARDIS. TARDIS. Blah. And we have the goalpost. Okay. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Says the disembodied orange voice. Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Oh, cool! Temporal paradox! Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yes, because I was you. Uh, let's see. It's a conversation. And so yeah. this is oh. what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's ah. on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. All right. Yep, I was in the furniture maze. That's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? 
options are. Actually, I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. It's strange, but in a way, I kind of miss being in the prison. Or it feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna go with three. It's my lucky number in this game. Do you feel any different? It's not actually my lucky number. Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. I'm gonna go with, okay. No, I'm not really the same person as I was back then. Or, it was, it actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Uh, I'm gonna go with two. And then there's radio static in the background. Oh good. That's nice to hear. That makes me feel really happy. Age just kind of does that, you know? Or, it, I'm still me, but I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. Or, remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. I'm going to go with option three there, because it is kind of true, actually. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? <laughs> Good question. Two. Yeah. Or, uh, no, I'm the first person, or I think I'm the first person to call back, or two. Yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. I'm going to go with two, because I don't want to cause too many paradoxes. Well, I want to. I want to cause too many paradoxes, but this is not one that I will cause. Yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. What did they tell you? What did you have to do to get out? All they told me was to be sincere. They asked me how I felt about being imprisoned. They just talked to me for a while. Definitely going with option three there. Maybe... Yeah. I wonder if there's anything about that, that says about me. What? That freed you? How does that work? Uh, option one. Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Two, just talk to me. Or three, it will make sense. I'm going to go with one this time. You can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Okay, I can talk. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I will. Er, option one, which is the only one. I will be here for as long as you need. Which is also true for you, audience. I will, I will be I can here see why for he you. Considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. Yeah. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we probably have time for one more So what would it look episode. like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Good question. What would it be like if Coda made a game about talking to someone other than himself? Apparently, it would look initially very cold. Oh, and we... This is a back end of door puzzle. I wonder if it's going to loop back on itself here, but okay game about talking to someone other than himself. And to me, this environment no. is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Oh, I see, because there's that door there and that door there. And then it kind of wanders a bit. And then we have... A guy. I'm going to try something. I'm going to just walk away. I'm going to see if that does anything. Just so you're aware, nothing will happen up here until you've been inside the house. Okay, okay. I'm still walking up. It's the principle of the thing. Poke. No lever. Moving on. So yeah, interesting perspective. If, we're, if we are talking about talking to someone else, <laughs> then it, it's definitely initially, it was very cold, very dark. And it's, you know, an uphill climb. But apparently it becomes warm and welcoming. Did the shape of the house change a little bit? Well, my goodness, I'm glad it's all heck that you showed up. I thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself, and right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. Options one, don't worry about me. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. 
From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. Okay. Don't worry about me. A place this nice, uh, I'll be glad to stay here all night. Uh, and lousy homes make home loners. <laughs> are, are we cleaning this whole place? Uh, I'm going to go with three, but not in a, are we cleaning this whole place? Or wait, but like, are we cleaning this whole place? Just making sure we're on the same page. That's the story, little one. Oh, don't you worry now. We'll be through this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish there was more. Why don't I finish up here? In the meantime, could you please clear the table? Okay. What are you going to finish up here at the table doing? E. Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now, would you please run into the bedroom and make the bed? Okay. We'll do, guy. Presumably. find the bedroom and I'm gonna make the bed like so. While well, you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? All the little details matter. Straighten out the rug. A button! Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How do you end up doing this job? Or It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Uh, okay, so I can't do option three. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask. How do you end up doing this job? A friend dragged me along at a time when I was particularly desperate for cash. Turns out I've never felt so good doing something for money in my whole life. Never did like cleaning my own home. I might. Uh, I might have got some demons I ain't ready to face yet. Oh, speaking of demons, someone's put this couch in all a mess. Would you come out and straighten these pillows here? <laughs> speaking of demons, that couch. Arrange the pillows. That you have a queer choice of words there, but okay. Bam, 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 bam. Oh dear, it looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're there? Sure, I love mopping the table. Boink. I feel compared to show an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Absolutely. Uh, make, or make it especially cheesy? Yeah, I'll try to get by. Or do you absolutely have to? Yeah, uh, make it especially cheesy. Number one. Ellipses. Ellipses. No. No, it was stupid. Sorry. Never mind. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? Okay, on the condition that I see you doing some work too. Cooperation. Many hands make light work and all that doing much better now that I have someone to dialogue with. Okay. Last I checked, the tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? Sounds good. No need to be perfect. We're all just human. Well, I know I'm human. Well, actually, do we have a mirror? Okay, so I'm a ghost, and you're... you. So, neither of us are human, but we bear the human trait of not being perfect. Which is good enough for me, because it's kind of true. That, that's pretty squeaky clean. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you put them back on the shelf? Sure. This is... Yep, there's no, none scattered on the floor of the bedroom. There's just a bookcase that could use a little bit of reorganizing. Although I kind of... There's something strangely satisfying about having it all all over the place. But okay. Like Perfect. I agree. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off the- After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's how the moment you? after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Okay. Uh, now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off the table? The thing is, is that those dishes were already there, now they're back in the sink. Uh, so let's see, options are, house, cl house cleaning is so difficult, how do you do it? Are all houses this easy to clean, or do these chores ever end? I'm going to go with two, because the E button is a very easy way to clean stuff up. Are all houses easy to clean? 
darling, let me tell you something. In your lifetime, you are going to clean a lot of houses. Among all of those, a few of them will stick out as truly wonderful, beautiful experiences. And none of them will be the ones that were easy. Just think about... Uh, just something to think about while you smooth out the rug really in the bedroom. Like of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Looks like the tub has gotten rather dirty. Would you mind tidying it up a bit? I noticed that things are getting dirty again. I'm gonna make the bed here soon. Ellipses. Earlier, when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was gonna say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. Heh, <laughs> your voice keeps changing, I'm sorry. I don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. Uh, let's see. I get it, that's a weird thing to say to someone you just met. Yeah, you're right, that's pretty cheesy. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with three. But, but there's a bit of truth in it, no? Ellipses. Anyway. So... Housekeeping. <coughs> Let's keep doing this. <coughs> books, would you please clean up the books? Thanks. I'm actually quite enjoying this this one. Even if it is very simple. Oh goodness, those pillows over on the couch are a real mess. It was the demons. Would you go over and straighten them up a bit? Can't have folks can't have these folks coming over to a messy couch. There's another mention of others. There really are demons or whatnot dealing with the pillows. Ellipses question. Do you but enjoy this? Of course, yeah. it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I was gonna say yes, I was enjoying the cleaning. But that's very... At the same time, I like that. It, it punctuates. The fact that it's over. Do you like cleaning? Nope. Do you, nothing else. And you don't have to explain that the door's open, guy, because be, because this game is has that one moment of well-designed... Well, it's got a lot of moments of well-designed, but this one in particular is that you exit through the only exit. Never mind. There's the other exit, too. Okay, fine. Never mind. There are, all the walls are open. Okay, I thought... I thought that this was the only way out... If, if it was, then you exit, and then you see that the door is open up here. But in any case. In any case. Oh, and we have the goalpost. I see. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. But you sound uncertain. This Items you love and members only prices. Right. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Uh, I want. I want to pause because was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? Okay, we're gonna have an extra long episode. No, you came here to become perfect. With the perfection of champions, this workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I'm not over there. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Gee, that is a great YouTuber. I mean, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you th or who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is so well-developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself compared to whom you feel useless, self selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you that person, the person that makes you feel better. Perfection is within your grasp. That's so very charismatic. The question is not how we do it, but how we do it effortlessly! This is easy! It is so easy! It is so easy! Halfway through the game, Being the perfect is effortless. Shifts. Sure. Oh! And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Um. 
I was not expecting that I would be staring into the void right now. I'm just saying, I was not expecting this. And there's the goalpost over yonder. <laughs> okay, uh, so, I'm just gonna pick whichever option I think is most suitable and or humorous, and I'm gonna read it out loud, and we're gonna go, because I think there's gonna be a, a lot of them. So, uh, being perfect is effortless. Uh, let's see. On the way to work, I told an elderly person to start contributing to society. Uh, well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. <laughs> Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. There is no path. There is no truth. Oh, sorry. Uh, ah, just kidding. But I, <laughs> I hit the wrong button and it turned out to still work. Uh... Do what is easiest, do what is simplest, feel what is true. Everyone run! Run! I fell pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of Perfection. the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Huh. I I kind of like that one. And yet that was very interesting. Okay, we're gonna end the episode right here. So long. This one took uh, a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's okay. twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Okay, I'm going to say the outro. I'm going to see you in the next video. I'm going to apologize for the one kind of having part of the uh, the next one having left a bit of itself here, but whatever. So long, farewell, safe travels, see you soon. Don't forget to write, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll miss you. Have fun storming the castle. Don't take any wooden nickels as legal currency, but take them anyways, because seriously, wooden nickels, au revoir, etc., and good night.